Radio immunoassay, also known as RIA, is a technique which is used to determine the concentration of antigen in a patient sample. It uses something called a hot antigen, which is just an antigen plus some radioactive material. The basic principle of RIA is based on competitive binding between the radio-labeled antigen, which is the hot antigen, and an unlabeled antigen called the cold antigen, with a selected antibody. The resulting radioactivity is measured to determine the concentration of the target antigen, i.e. the sought-after antigen. Let us examine the technique in step-by-step -step fashion. First, the antibody is pre-coated in a microwell plate. Then hot antigens are added and after a while any unbound hot antigen is washed away. Next, the patient sample containing cold antigen is added. This causes the cold antigen to outcompete the hot antigen for binding to the antibody. Afterwards, another wash is carried out and the intensity of the labeled antigen, i.e. the hot antigen, is measured using a gamma counter. It is important to remember that the signal is inversely proportional to the concentration of the target antigen. This means that a high signal equals a low concentration of the target antigen and a low signal equals a high concentration of the target antigen. Radio immunoassay is very useful since it can be applied for drug detection from blood samples, blood bank screening for contaminants, detection of cancer biomarkers, measurement of hormone levels, measurement of disease associated antigen levels, and measurement of vitamins. Would you like to also learn about ELISA? Check out this video where I summarize the four main types of ELISA in less than two minutes. You heard that right. The basic principle of all four of them in less than two minutes. Check it out. Until next time.